Can you just worship him, worship him? Wherever you are, can you just connect in the spirit? While you're doing this, can you connect and invite your friends? Start your own watch party on this program. Mate katota la bosu talaresh zazere de keto la rokushun de redoshe male la 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 basa tele kushki zoze zele kahi kali kanto zambra yara rosho la la boskite na te kete le kushubata la to sa te le kushubalia aya la hande le kushoto redoshe zezi marande redosho talara connect and invite your friends le pato redosho talareze. Zekutala katole kutu sombrara, la shata de ketu sutali, zali kamale kete. Let's just connect in the spirit and worship. There's there's a contention. I need us to get into the spirit right now and deal with that contention. A family is under pressure. A family is in contention right now. Can you join me and let just let just speak in the spirit? Kali kan torozia. Mate katola katole getusia, shala la rabo shatoro dozia, le katola rabo shutalala. Connect with me in the spirit, le kapate tele gusu, sola ye le katun taredeshia, zezi zanda rakatun eneme, zaka tola kuta puto site, shali kali ka brande sedia, zola rara rabo shara kuski, zene neke tele ketu yada. Let every contention be destroyed now. Let every conspiracy be scattered. Let every demonic obstruction be removed. Open your mouth and pray with me. Let's connect in the spirit. We come against every contention over the inheritance of any family, over the provisions of any family now, over any life, any contention over the life of anyone right now. We come against it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and flow with me. Just a few minutes. Kalinga Dorus. La Suta Pate Legeze. La Satu Ringa Radasha. Leto Tata La Catuto Rodos. Zosi Lana Namatekete. La Yele Catusum Pradeshi. Zana Namata Catu Regeskia. Sali Catu Tosun Torodos. Zapatele Cutu La Malande. Join me, join me, join me. Flow with me in the spirit. Every contention over the inheritance of any family. Over the life of anyone right now, right now, right now, let there be a release. Let there be a release. Let there be a release. Marco Supata Ladosia, Lekuta Ladabara Shanteleros, Zosele Ketika Tante, Mata Kato Riga Nayan Derede, Yakura Katu Ekateri, Shanterero Suta, Salika Tupratus in the Redes, Zenena Malakato Sigre. Shakapatakate na yale kapunta rokora kaka kikanduria zotile ketu yekete. We come against every contention over life. We come against every contention over properties. 
we come against every contention over inheritance, over, over position. Every conspiracy be scattered right now. Let there be a release of your testimony. Let there be a release of your glory. Let there be a release of your inheritance. Let there be a release now. We come against, we stand against every contention. Flow with me in the spirit. Flow with me in the spirit. Let there be a release now. 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 Right now. Everyone in need of divine intervention. Now. Right now. Before this broadcast is over. Let there be a testimony. Let there be a release. Le kapatolia zoleke tora dara shande zele mataka tuteredos supata kateledos ya le katora raba shara dos zele rebo shunta dos ke zane katora katele kete zeki kapata lientos ya sotoro dos intara dos e lata tepele kuski zoma la katele gosia worship him worship him now worship him now what a mighty God we serve. La praloso katalara le kotarandorosa what an incredible god malura rakatote le sokato tarendeze zobale katota le kusudia zona rakatere keski zimprata le deshente vale katora bose le kotarada rakata let the earth swallow every flood let every flood be swallowed let every flood be swallowed let every flood be swallowed right now, right now, right now. Let there be a release. 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 Katele kusubate na la kato sotorondos zazi zarandereketi ikapateleketi. You will not come down under that pressure. Let there be a release now. We dispel every pressure, every darkness. Every contention be dispelled now. Leto patenedosi zokata tarandorodosi zeketeleke tuyade. Receive your release. Receive your testimony. Receive your miracle. Open your mouth and take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Stand in the gap for your family. Stand in the gap for your husband, for your wife. I don't know what is going on anywhere, but I know. That his plan for us is that of good, not evil. Take that which belongs to you now. Receive, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. You will smile. You will not cry. You will smile. You will not cry. There shall be no loss. Just give him praise. Give him praise. The release has come. The release has come. Give him praise. What an incredible God. What an incredible God. What an incredible God. Your release is here. Your release is here. Your release is here. He's an incredible God. Your release is here. Your release is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The testimony is here. The miracle is here. Thank you, Jesus. Le pato toro do se. La kota katele gusi. So pata tarande se. Zuzale kapatele. So prada kasekete. So leke tuna mate kusia. Sa to pata teredos. So la rada katole kushim bradose. Thank you, Jesus. Incredible God. Incredible God. Incredible God. Thank you, Father. 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 For everyone that has connected, let's pray right now. There's someone in labor and... Uh, I understand that the child is, is too big. 
it's big, but they have confirmed that the child can be delivered. Right now, let's pray for strength. Everyone in labor now. Everyone in labor now. Receive strength for delivery. Receive grace for delivery. Can you just pray with me just one minute? Just one minute. We dispatch angels to every labor ward, to every every delivery room. Let there be released now. 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 Now. There shall be no loss. Every woman in delivery, any part of the world now, receive strength, receive grace for delivery, receive grace for delivery. Every contention over any life, in any family, in any hospital, receive grace right now. We paralyze that contention. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you tonight. Thank you for being a part of us tonight. One more time, this is the 15th day of this under open heavens. Yesterday night we started with something. Hey, Mama Ifi, God bless you for connecting from Lagos. Uchechuku Prince Solomon, thank you. The sensational blessing. Thank you. Your visit today was refreshing. God bless you for coming. We ended on prayers. Dr. Prince, thank you for connecting. George, all the way from Germany. God bless you. Right now, let's get into this program tonight. We stopped yesterday and after that prayer, I could just not sleep. The Lord laid it in my heart and get, got me troubled in my mind and I kept praying. I kept praying and diverse ministrations started coming to me. If you were with us yesterday, you would discover that we ended on a note of God. Give us grace to restrain us from doing certain things. Restrain us from taking the wrong decision. Restrain us from taking the wrong action. Restrain us from doing something we will regret much later. And tonight, I want us to build on that. And I'm speaking tonight on grace for restraint. Grace for restraint. Grace for restraint. Let me read Genesis 20 from verse 1 to 6. It's quite a long passage, but tonight, let's just flow very quickly. I need you to connect with me on this. Boggy, God bless you. Thank you for connecting. Genesis 20 verse 1 to 6. And Abraham journeyed from thence towards the south country and dwelled between Kadesh and Shur and sojourned in Gera. Verse 2. And Abraham said of Sarah, his wife, She is my sister. And Abraham, king of Gera, sent and took Sarah. But God, take note of this verse 3, Genesis 20. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Behold, thou art but a dead man. For the woman which thou hast taken, for she is a man's wife. But Abimelech, had not come near her. And he said, Lord, will you slay also a righteous nation? And verse 5, Abraham said unto me, she is my sister. And she even herself said, he is my brother. And Abimelech said, in the integrity of my heart and innocency of my hands, have I done this? Now look at verse 6. That's where I want to dwell on tonight. Thank you, IJ, for connecting from Boston, USA. Verse 6. And God said unto him in a dream, Yeah, I know that thou did this in the integrity of thy heart. For I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Have you seen that before? 
20 verse 6 of Genesis. Oh, thank you, Emeka, my chairman. Thank you for connecting. 20 verse 6. And God said unto him in a dream, You know that you, I, you did this in the integrity of your heart, for I also withheld thee from sinning against me. Therefore, I did not allow you to touch her. God restrained Abimelech from taking this woman as a concubine. Tonight, may God stop you from taking a wrong decision. I want to speak for somebody tonight. I want to speak also to someone tonight. The lockdown has piled pressure on people. Financial pressure, emotional pressure, spiritual pressure. Bills are mounting up. I pray that God will restrain you from taking a wrong decision. Perhaps your wife is reacting. Perhaps your husband is not responding. You have been the person doing everything. And you are about to take a decision to take something, to do something drastic. May God stop you from doing anything that will bring negative effects on your family. Today, I've received one or two disturbing text messages about people who are reacting because of the pressure of the time we are in. There may not be food in the house enough for everyone and someone doesn't care. Listen to me today. Don't let it push you to become what you are not. Thank you, Reverend Amechi, my good friend from Spain. Thank you for connecting. God bless you, sir. Tonight, I want to tell you, don't take a negative decision because of pressure. Don't let the lack of money push you to do something that you will not ordinarily have done. Izu Onyejikwe, God bless you from Maryland in the U.S. Thank you very much for connecting tonight. I, I, I don't know why I feel this in my spirit, that there's someone who is, who is boiling, someone who is not happy because of attitude that has been shown to you within this period of lockdown. And you feel like taking off to leave that house. You feel like beating the demon out of someone. You feel like not eating that food that was cooked by someone. I want to tell someone tonight, may God restrain you from, from speaking that which will make you regret tomorrow. Hear me tonight. Refuse to be under pressure. Allow people to be who they are. Don't let them change you from being who God has made you to be. Don't let situations change you. Don't let lack of money make you do what you are not supposed to do. Can I speak to a young lady listening to me today? Don't let the pressure of needs, the pressure of changing your cosmetics, the pressure of hunger, don't let it make you compromise your principles. Don't do the wrong things because of money. Don't steal. Don't take money that was given to you by somebody to keep and you go and spend it. Sustain your profession. Sustain your integrity. May God help you. I know that from this broadcast, heaven is releasing help to somebody speak hearing me tonight. Grace, he said to Abimelech, yes, you wanted to take this woman, but I stopped you from doing that. May God abort, may God abort every opportunity that we have to mess up. May God abort every opportunity that we have to disgrace ourselves. Thank you, Bishop Ike from Abuja. God bless you. Oh my God, man of God, Dr. Bose Jindo, thank you for connecting. God restrained. He said, yes, you didn't touch this woman. Genesis 20 verse 6, because I restrained you. Receive that grace tonight. Receive that grace tonight. Tonight now, there are people who are planning to go out and steal. 
Right now, they are stealing the battery of cars. They are stealing the parts of cars because they want to sell and buy bread. There are people who are about to do desert. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone who is under pressure because, because you are being old. And you really need that money now. Don't let that debt make you do what you would not have done before. God will send you help. Who knows the pressure that the person owing you is going through? Don't let it do cause you to do something that is terrible, something you will regret tomorrow. May God restrain you. May God restrain you. May God restrain you. Jesus was standing and he had every right, he had every power to command angels to come down and take all those people. Peter reacted and he told Peter, they that go by the sword will die by the sword. Allow this to be. Maintain your cool. Don't lose your cool. Tonight, I pray that God will restrain you from taking a wrong decision. That God will restrain you from going into a wrong contract. From God, that God will restrain you from getting into a wrong partnership. Oh, Baleka to Kate Yandaha, La Sika Talabo Sitalege. After the lockdown, there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be a lot of doors open. There's going to be a flooding, a flooding of blessings. Don't mess it up with one silly decision now. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. I step to number two, still on grace for restraint. And I come to Abigail. Abigail. 1 Samuel 25, verse 32. I need somebody to take note of this. 1 Samuel 25, 32, and 33. And David said to Abigail, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which sent thee this day to meet me. And blessed be thy advice, and blessed be thou, which has kept me this day from coming to shed blood and from avenging myself with my own hands. First Samuel 25, 33. Blessed be thy advice and blessed be, that be thou, which has kept me this day from coming to shed blood and from avenging death my own hands. Listen to me tonight. You know the story of Abigail and Nabal. Nabal messed up. Can you take note that Nabal, nobody stopped him. When he was, he was fighting and rejecting the proposal, the plea. He was, he was rejecting the request of David, who had been a friend, who had helped him. There was nobody around him to tell him, this thing you're doing is not good. Give these people, you have it. Don't keep it back. Give it to them. Nobody was there to restrain him. And he said, he cursed David. He said, who are you that I should give you my bread? You could be a servant that left your master. Why should I give you my bread? And then David got up with his army and said, by this time tomorrow, there will not be a man in the house of neighbor. Everybody that stands to peace on the wall must be dead. I will wipe them. And the maid ran to Abigail, the wife of Nabal. She quickly packed things and rushed to meet David. And as he met David, he started talking to David. I know you are doing something for God. I know you've been appointed for God. I know that the battle you're fighting is the battle for God. But please have mercy on my husband. She started talking and talking and talking. And David could not do anything. And David replied, Blessed be you, Abigail. And blessed be God who sent you to meet me today. He said, Blessed is your advice to me. You also, you are blessed. Because you have kept me from shedding blood. We are going to pray tonight. The first one, God restrained someone. The second time, God sent somebody to restrain me. I pray that God will send someone 
to stop you from taking a wrong decision. I pray that God will send someone to stop you from getting involved with a wrong partnership. I pray that God will send someone to mess up the opportunity that you would have used to mess yourself up because you are on a revenge. Locked down and people are under pressure. There are so much going on. We don't understand. People don't understand what you're going through. And somebody is coming from somewhere to come and add to your pressure. May God bring the person that will also cool down your pressure. I demand that heaven will send you hell. At that point when you are about to take that ugly decision, may there be someone that can block you and say, no, take it easy. The first one, God, God restrained. The second time, God sent somebody to restrain. Receive grace for restraint. Receive grace for restraint. Some of us, maybe I should tell you this. It's just God. I had my birthday on the 3rd of March. And I was supposed to travel to UK on the 7th of March. But as God would have it, something happened and I was restrained from traveling. I just could not travel. Because of circumstances, you will say, it's not a serious one, but I don't understand why it should have happened. But God used somebody to cause me a problem that made me to delay my travel. It was a disappointment. And then suddenly, oh my God, I had to stay back and wait. Just the next week, the coronavirus triggered off. The program I had the next week was also canceled. If I had traveled that weekend, my God, I would have been stuck. No program to do. I can't come back. Even if I try to come back and succeed in coming back, I will enter quarantine before I go back to my house. I need somebody to understand that there is something. Sometimes God programs disappointments from men to restrain you. So that what he is doing can come to your life. Thank you, Bishop David, for connecting. Thank you, Omar, for connecting. Thank you, IJ, for connecting. This is serious tonight. Don't let the pressure of the lockdown cause you to do something, to take a decision, to speak in a way you're not supposed to speak. May God restrain you. May God send a man to restrain you. I believe that grace is passing to someone tonight. You don't need to. You don't need to run to a room and stay alone and not talk to anybody. You don't need to reject food. You don't need to stay. You know, oh, thank you, Jesus. There are people that are in quarantine inside isolation. They have been isolated to stay at home. You are on lockdown at home. Inside your lockdown, you have quarantined yourself inside your room. You are in a house with people. Nobody talks to you. Nobody relates with you. You are on self-exile and you are boiling. You are cooking what you are going to do. You are planning your revenge. My dear, may God deliver you from this terrible situation. No, 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 no. Reject it. Come out. May God restrain you from taking the wrong decision. You are under pressure. Those who are supposed to be with you are those who are complicating matters to you. They are telling you stories. They are not doing what they are supposed to do. Stay calm. God is in charge. I believe I'm talking to somebody tonight. Now, that is number two. Number one, God restrained Abimelech. Number two, God sent men to restrain Abigail. Let's look at number three. First Samuel chapter three, verse 13 and 14. That's Eli. First Samuel three. 13 and 14. For I have told him that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity which he knoweth. He knows what he's doing. Because his sons made themselves vile and he restrained them not. I need you to know the, the iniquity, the sin of the house of Eli. Because his sons made themselves vile 
and he did not restrain them. And therefore I have sworn unto the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be porched with sacrifice or offering forever. Tonight I'm going to pray that the Lord will stop the one in your house that will cause you not to practice restraint. The one that will block your ability to restrain yourself. The one that will get you so provoked that you cannot say anything and you keep quiet. May God take that person away from your path. May God take that person away from your path. Thank you, Goom, for connecting from Houston. You can discover now that the house of Eli was judged because Eli did not restrain. What am I saying? Listen to me tonight. If someone is at the verge of taking a drastic decision and you leave that person to himself, you have not done well. It's not my business. It's not my business. It is your business. You are not there by accident. God planted you for a purpose. Restrain someone with an advice. Restrain someone with your prayers. Restrain someone by shouting. Even if you have to display, displease that person. Get that person angry, but let him be restrained from taking the wrong action. This is the reason why the lockdown is there. That we may build up each other. That we may get back each other. This is very important tonight. I believe I'm talking to someone tonight. Don't tell me it's not your business. It is your business. Friendship demands that you get the best out of the other. Friendship demands that you're able to talk to a friend and say you are going with the wrong person. You are about to enter fire. I block this. You come and they want you to go and you give them the opportunity. You refuse. You stay there. No, my friend, get out of here. This is the wrong person. Eli did not restrain his. He just sat there and said, well, you know this is wrong. You know this is wrong. I won't stop you. This is wrong. Just, well, don't do this again. Instead of him to shout, will you get out of this place? You can't try this while I'm here. The Bible says that was his problem. And God said, for the punishment I will give to them, prayer and sacrifice will not purge it. May God give you grace to restrain someone. May God give you grace to stop somebody from packing out of the house. May God give you grace to stop someone from releasing that punch. May God give you grace to stop someone from sending that stupid text message. May God give you grace to stop someone from locking him or herself inside the room. You were planted there for a reason. That's why it didn't allow you to travel. The lockdown is to position you by the side of that person. This is the purpose, my friend. It is not about coronavirus. It is about you helping someone in your family, someone around you to be better than what he is. Receive that grace tonight to be able to save somebody from suicidal mistake. There are things we do that the implications, the consequences will run across generations. There are things you will do that the consequences, the effect will not only be on the person you want to attack, it's going to affect a lot of other people, a chain of a whole lot of people, a chain of people. Listen to me tonight, uh, Bishop Moses, we are still on, until the lockdown is over, we are on this platform every day. It's not shutting down until the platform is over. I want to tell someone tonight, oftentimes, vengeance does not stop with the person that committed offense. It affects a whole lot of innocent people. It will affect a whole lot of innocent people. And when God will react, he will consider the pains on all the innocent people. I want to tell someone, may God restrain you. May God 
stop you from getting into that. Finally, tonight, just before we pray, Proverbs 19, 11. Proverbs 19, verse 11. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I need to show you this. Let's round up with this. Let's round up with this. Proverbs 19, verse 11. 19, verse 11. Proverbs 19, verse 11. I need you to open it. I need you to, if possible, quote it, copy it, paste it on this broadcast. Paste it. Pick up, pick up different versions. Pick up different versions wherever you are and paste it on this, on this broadcast right away. Pick it up on your handset, on your Bible, and paste it on this. And the Bible says in Proverbs 19, verse 11, The discretion of a man deferred his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. It is a man's glory. It is a man's glory to pass over transgression. It is a man's glory to pass over transgression. It is a man's glory to pass over transgression. I need you to understand that. Ah, every time you need to, you need to understand that you don't react to every offense. You don't react to every offense. No, 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 no. You don't react. Some of them you ignore. Some of them you make a humor out of them. Some of them you just keep quiet. Some of them you will react. But the Bible is saying it is to a man's glory to overlook transgressions. I want you tonight to look at this. Let it flow. And let's see what is written in other versions. Give me other versions of the Bible and you will discover what God is saying. Let me go to other versions and let's see what God is saying there. Other versions of Proverbs 19.11. This is the last message I'm giving to you. Please, pick up other versions and quote it here. Paste it here. Pick it up from your Bible and paste it here. Other versions of 19.11. Look at what it says in Amplified Version. In Amplified Version. Oh my God. Good sense makes a man slow to anger. And it is his honor and glory to overlook transgression or an offense without seeking revenge. Without seeking revenge and harboring resentment. Oh my God. It is to your honor and glory not to seek revenge, not to harbor resentment. It is to your glory. It is to your glory. Oh my God. Look at easy version. After this, this is where I'm stopping. Oh my God. Oh my God. A man who speaks wise word is patient. It is good to forget a wrong thing. It is good to forget a wrong thing. It is good to forget a wrong thing. My God. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Let me take one more version. New Living Translation. Hey. New Living Translation. Look at it. Look at it. My God. My God. My God. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. I need you to know. That God is in this meeting and he's talking to somebody. God is in this thing. He's talking to somebody. Look at, look at living translation. Sensible people control their temper. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. They earn respect by overlooking wrongs. Turn it the other side. You, you earn disrespect by giving attention to wrongs. Tonight, let's just pray. Come on, let's just pray. We don't need to talk about your partner. I need this prayer. I, you need this prayer. Lord, restrain me. That's the first prayer tonight. Ne from Sweden. God bless you to our connecting tonight. God, restrain me. Let's take one minute and pray that prayer. We have three prayer points. Three prayer points. 
Come on, come on. Lord, restrain me from taking the wrong action. Open your mouth and pray. Father, take over my will. Take over my mind. Take over my spirit. Restrain me from speaking the wrong thing. Restrain me from taking the wrong action. Restrain me from attending the wrong meeting. Restrain me from listening to the wrong call. Block that call. Let it not come true. Lord, restrain me. I want to be who you want me to be. I will not operate under the pressure of lockdown. Lack of money, lack of foodstuff will not stop me. Lack of job will not stop me. Disappointment from people will not stop me from being who you designed me to be. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lord, restrain me. Lord, restrain me. Restrain me from taking the wrong action. Restrain me from replying when I should keep quiet. Restrain me from going out when I should stay indoors. Restrain me from spending when I'm not supposed to spend. Restrain me, oh God, from reacting the wrong way. Restrain me. Give me the will to do that which I have to do. Pray the prayer tonight. Number two, pray the prayer. Lord, send me the one I can listen to that can restrain me. Send me the one that can influence me to stop the wrong action. Send to me the man, the woman, the boy, the girl that will be restraining me from taking the wrong decision. Lord, let my doors open. May I not miss the one who will restrain me from taking the wrong action. Open your mouth and pray that prayer for yourself. Open your mouth and pray that prayer for yourself. Father, give me the grace to accept that person. Even when it hurts me, let that person fulfill your plan in my life. Send me the one who will restrain me from taking care of those things the wrong way. From doing those things I am not supposed to do. Send me the one that will scatter the opportunity. Father, send me the one who will restrain me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Send me the one whose advice will save my neck. Send me the one whose, whose talk, whose speech will save my soul. Send me that one. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. And finally tonight, I want you to pray, Lord, give me the grace to help someone to take the right decision. Give me the grace to restrain someone who is about to do the wrong thing. Give me the grace to save someone, even when it's not comfortable for me. Give me the grace to absorb insults, but let me restrain somebody from doing the wrong thing. Father, give me the grace to listen. Oh, I like that. I like that. Pastor Allen from Switzerland. God bless you, my good friend. Lord, restrain me. Help me to listen. Let me not listen to the things that do not glorify you. Let my ears reject the wrong things. Lord, help me to restrain somebody from doing the wrong thing. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Tonight, Father, we give you praise. Father, we worship you. Lord, we exalt you. Thank you for such a time. Somebody will not make that mistake. You will give us the grace to stand still and see the glory of the Lord. The lockdown, the pressure will not change us from being who you are. The lockdown will not mess up our lives and families. The lockdown will not send us into another quarantine inside our own house. The lockdown will not make us do what we are not proud of. The lockdown will not make us go back to what we left several years ago. The lockdown will not make us compromise our faith. The lockdown will not cause us to do that which will make people to laugh at us. The lockdown, Lord, restrain us. Send us the one who will restrain us. Help us to restrain someone. We give you praise tonight. Every family that is under pressure, receive help, receive grace. Every individual that is under pressure now, this week, this week, you will smile again. I ask that your heavens open. The shops may be locked down. 
heaven can never be locked down. May God supply your needs according to his riches in glory. You will smile again. Father, thank you tonight. May your blessings, may your grace envelope us to be better than what we are. And tonight I stand as God's servant and I say to you, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord leave the light of his countenance over you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. And may the Lord give you peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. See you tomorrow, 9 p.m. to 9.30, 9.40. Connect someone. Tell somebody. Even after the broadcast, share it. Somebody needs to listen to this. It will be a blessing to someone. Download it. Send it to someone. Broadcast it. It's not about me. It's about restraining someone from taking the wrong decision. You will make somebody's life better. You will save a family from disaster. Thank you. See you tomorrow. God bless you. And good night. More grace.